both whey and creatine are safe effective supplements for boosting gym performance and muscle growth but have you even thought of combining these two popular fitness supplements by doing so will you experience more benefits like greater energy and muscle gain today we are going to answer those questions in this video Creatine is an acid produced within the body while whey protein supplies amino acids for the body to use as needed but we will learn about these two in the next few minutes so please stay here and keep watching what creatine is and how does it work creatine is an organic compound that's naturally produced in the body it helps to produce energy during intense workouts and heavy lifting as for supplement creatine boosts muscle mass strength and exercise performance they are made in commercial lab using synthetic methods creatine monohydrate is the most common form of creatine supplement it is an organic compound also found in many foods particularly meat products the thing is the amount of creatine in meat is rather small therefore many athletes and fitness enthusiasts use creatine supplements what is whey protein and how does it work whey is one of the primary protein found in dairy products unlike creatine It isn't an organic compound. It's often a byproduct of cheese production and can be separated to create a powder. Quality-wise, whey protein is at the top, which explains its huge popularity among bodybuilders and other athletes. Consuming whey protein after exercising has been linked to increase muscle mass and strength. Some also claim to have experienced enhanced recovery from whey protein. quickly press that like button and let's get back into it taking creatine and whey protein together this is what happens the good news is that you can combine the two supplements whey protein and creatine are absorbed and used as needed additionally they achieve various but complementary objectives for instance during exercise creatine supplements will replenish depleted reserves and support instant energy production consequently this will lead to increased overall athletic performance Then after workout when your muscles are all broken down you can take whey protein to aid in muscle recovery to sum it up these two supplements don't cancel each other out but rather they support each other thus it is safe to conclude that those who use both benefit from the best of both worlds in other words you get to get the whole range of advantages that both whey protein and creatine have to offer bigger muscles yes improved brain functions yes We'll talk about these and many more advantages in a moment. Number 1, more energy. Creatine boosts the amount of phosphocreatine in your cells. Stored cellular phosphocreatine is responsible for stimulating the energy processes at the cellular level. As a result, it helps produce chemical energy which is then burned during exercise to create energy. ATP is the basic power source in the cells. Thus creatine essentially creates and activates energy at the most fundamental level. In fact, just a 6-day creatine supplementation followed by a 2 gram per day maintenance dose can significantly elevate your muscle stores. Number 2, increase high intensity performance. Research has demonstrated that creatine enhances high intensity performance during exercise. It's all thanks to their direct role in the ATP production. You can benefit from creatine regardless of your level of fitness unlike supplements that are only useful for experienced athletes. Furthermore, according to clinical research, taking creatine supplements along with a proper training plan can improve an athlete's ability to vertical jumps, lift weights and sprints. The effect of creatine on increased endurance are also linked to increased strength, fatigue resistance, increased muscle mass, quicker recovery and even improved brain performance. Number 3, greater muscle mass. Only a few legal supplements can directly create muscle mass when combined with exercise. and among all of those creatine is the most successful and has the strongest scientific support it works well for both rapid and sustained muscle growth it even helps a variety of lifestyles such as inactive persons senior citizens and professional athletes as for whey protein its effective on muscle mass gain is due to the branched chain amino acids which is instantly accessible for muscle protein synthesis the high concentrations of leucine encourage muscle growth repair and regeneration when it comes to building muscle creatine not only promotes larger gains but also quickens the process this is the method number 4 faster muscle growth 
creatine has been shown to accelerate muscle growth. Although athletes know this, there is also scientific evidence to back it up. Studies have reported increased muscle growth from creatine supplements with significant increases occurring in as few as 5 days. Number 5. Low blood sugar levels. Creatine can also help lower blood sugar levels and even fight diabetes. According to studies, taking creatine supplements reduces blood sugar when combined with high intensity exercise. Apparently, creatine can fight short term blood sugar spikes, which in turn lowers blood sugar in the long run. Number 6. Better brain function. Just as creatine enhances the production of the energy producing molecule called ATP, it also gives the same boost to the brain as it does to the muscle tissues. The brain requires a significant amount of ATP when carrying out difficult tasks. Supplements like creatine that can boost phosphocreatine stores, it allows the brain to create more ATP. Consequently, this enhances brain activity leading to enhanced recognition memory and less mental exhaustion. Besides muscle gain, probably the next if not the biggest reason athletes take whey protein is its ability to speed up muscle repair and recovery. Number 7. Faster muscle recovery. Exercise causes micro tears in muscle fibers which explains the soreness you feel after. Consuming proteins after exercise is important to your muscles recovery. In particular, the assistance of amino acids or BCAAs in whey protein allows your body to build and repair muscle tissues better. Additionally, leucine, one of the three essential BCAAs, stimulates muscle protein synthesis. Muscle protein synthesis is a natural process in which protein is created to repair muscle damage caused by intense exercise. Number 8. Low blood pressure. According to the studies, naturally occurring chemicals in dairy products can lower blood pressure. This effect has been attributed to a family of bioactive peptides found in dairy called ACE inhibitors. In whey protein, these peptides are called lactokinins. Lactokinins have been found to reduce blood pressure in people diagnosed with hypertension, a common condition that is among the major risk factors for heart disease. Next up is how whey protein helps with blood fat. Number 9. Reduce blood fats. Whey protein supplements have been shown in research to significantly reduce blood fat levels which can lead to good weight management. Moreover, high cholesterol, specifically LDL, bad cholesterol, is a major risk factor for heart disease. In one study of overweight people, 65 grams of whey protein daily for 12 weeks led to a significant reduction in both LDL and total cholesterol. Hence, with the right doses of whey protein supplements, you can reduce blood cholesterol as well as the risk of developing heart disease. Number 10. Protection against diabetes. It turns out that whey proteins have been shown to control blood sugar in addition to creatine's capacity to drop blood sugar. On top of that, it can also raise natural levels of insulin in the bloodstream. These two benefits can efficiently combat type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic disease characterized by impaired insulin function and high blood pressure. Whey protein remains superior even in comparison to other protein sources such as fish and egg whites. In fact, the properties of whey protein can even be comparable to the properties of diabetes medications such as sulfonylurea. Dosage notes. For protein, the recommended daily amount or RDA is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight but if certain conditions are met, then it's safe to go beyond the RDA. An example of this is when engaging in strength training or trying to gain more muscle mass. Nevertheless, it's not recommended to take too much all at once as this may interfere with the proper digestion of your protein serving. These are the normal serving sizes for protein and creatine that are advised, keeping all of them in mind. 20 grams of protein per serving, 3 to 5 grams of creatine per serving. For maximum nutrient absorption, you may choose to spread those dosage amount into multiple sub-servings and take them at different times of the day. But if you want to appropriately time your creatine and protein consumption, then you can have 20 grams of protein and 3 to 5 grams of creatine together. The ideal way to maximize the anabolic effects of these supplements might be to do this. What about you? Have you tried taking creatine and whey protein together? Did you experience any of the things we talked about? Share your experience with the community below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting information about the human body. Here are two additional videos that you should watch since they will both undoubtedly assist you in achieving your objectives.